Hey everybody! So, I know I said I probably wasn't going to make another video before I went back to school, but I survived the blizzard of 09! Woo! The blizzard. So, I figured I'd tell you a little bit about the blizzard. Um, so, I live on Long Island, which was one of the hardest hit places of this big blizzard that hit the east coast of the United States this past weekend. Um, it snowed mm, a bunch of, like, Saturday afternoon and then all of Saturday night into Sunday morning. Um, we got about a foot or more of snow, which, for those of you who use metric, I am so globally aware, is like a third of a meter. Um, at times, it fell at rates of two to four inches per hour, which, for those of you who use metric, you can go find it yourselves because I am not that mathy at 10:30 in the morning. Um, here I can show you what it looks like because you clearly can't see all of the snow. But I don't know if you can tell how much snow that is. But look how much snow that is. Oh, and there's my dog. Anyway. So, I'm going to tell you all about what I did in all of this snow, because I had a really fun day. For those of you who aren't from snowy climates, lots of snow turns everyone into little children. Eh, my hair. Anyway, yeah, everyone turned in, turns into little kids. Um, so what did I do? I woke up in the morning and I was like, oh my god, snow! Yay! Let's go sledding! And, of course, I'm from Long Island, as I've already said like four times in this video. Um... And my initial gut instinct was, hey, let's go sledding in the sump. Because that's what we Long Island kids do. We go sledding in the sump. But then we decided not to go sledding in the sump. We decided to go sledding in a park, which leads to more stories later. So I woke up, and I tried to organize my friends for like four hours to go sledding. And it really wasn't working, but then finally it worked. And I was excited, and we got to go sledding. So I pack up my car. Um, aha, here, I'll show you my car, too. I bet you can see it. Uh, can you see it? No, that's a tree. Hang on. No, this isn't going to work. One second. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Keeps getting blocked by the window. But you can kind of see my car. I drive a PT Cruiser, which sounds like it would be really crappy in the snow. But it's not. It's actually pretty good in the snow. I'm proud of it. I love my car. It does just fine. Anyway, well usually does just fine. So I was leaving my house and I like I packed up my sled and I had all my stuff in the car to go sledding and I pull out and I go down to the end of my block and I'm about to turn out onto the main road and I got stuck Yeah, there was like I guess a mound and I got stuck in this like snow drift and I was stuck there for a little while but I didn't have to push so I was happy I just like went back and forward and back and forward I got out onto the street and I drove really slow. I was like a little granny driving like 50 miles an hour down a street with a 40 mile an hour speed limit. And people kept ca kept passing me, but I was like, hey, go fuck yourself. It's snowy and I don't want to die. I don't think any of them died either, but that's besides the point. So I made the turn and I went over to my friend's house. And like, I had to climb into their driveway because they hadn't shoveled out yet. And it was like up to my knee climbing into their driveway because of the plow banks and all that other stuff. But anyway, so we leave, and like, we go out, and we turn onto another main street off of her neighborhood, and like, just as we turn out, we realize that she forgot her knee brace, because she had like, knee issues. So then we go back to her house, and she goes to get her brace, and then we go back onto the block that we made that first turn from, um, and we got stuck at this light. And we ended up being stuck there for like 10 minutes, and this woman behind me was like, at the end, was getting like really impatient. She kept beeping at me. We were having like this argument between our windshields, like she was screaming at me through her front windshield, not that I could hear her, but I, I could tell she was screaming, it was in her face. And I was screaming at her like into my rear view mirror, and then like eventually I turned around and started screaming at her. And she was like, go, go, and I was like, lady, fuck you, there are cars, and I can't see over the snow bank that's taller than my car, and like... I don't want to get a ticket, I've already gotten two tickets, I don't need more tickets, and I'm not risking getting a ticket for you. Go fuck yourself. So then I turned. Don't ask me why, but I did. Fortunately, I didn't get a ticket, and this lady went. Whatever. She, um, she probably flipped me off, but I wasn't really looking because I was too freaked out about the fact that I might be getting a ticket. So then we went back around to, like, 
towards my friend's house, and I was like, well, we're not going down the block with the light again, because that was terrible. So then we went out another block, but the plow had just come through, and there was a curve, and he pushed like a snowbank there, and I got stuck in that one, too. I know it sounds like my car is doing really bad in the snow, but I promise it does really well, generally. So her and her neighbors and me, we all had to, like, push my car out of this snowbank. Anyway, long story short, we eventually made it, and we had to park, because the parking lot at the park where we would go closing is where we go sledding was closed. Because you're technically not supposed to go sledding where we went sledding, but we did anyway. So we parked, and we hiked in, and, like, it was kind of long, and the hike, and, like, the snow was deep, so it made it tiring. But we made these snow angels before making footprints on this part that hadn't been walked on yet, so that was kind of pretty. And then we go sledding, and we're sledding for a little while. And then the parks department comes and yells at us on this bullhorn out of a truck, You're trespassing. Vacate now. So we did. And then we came back to my house and we warmed up for a little while. And then we decided we're going to go get Five Guys, which for those of you that don't know, Five Guys is um, this like fast food burger joint that makes really good fast food burgers. So we get out to my driveway and we're about to leave. And then we realize there is another snowbank at the end of my driveway, so we have to shovel out. It was ridiculous. But anyway, so... We drive over to Five Guys, and there was, like, this advisory on the radio that said, basically, like, um, do not travel unless you absolutely have to, but we absolutely had to go to Five Guys because it's fucking delicious. So we had our burgers, and then I had to take one of my friends home. And then we hung out in my basement for a little while, and then we went to another friend's house. And that's basically what we did. It was a lot of outdoorsiness and fun. I don't know. I love the snow. I think winter is my favorite season because I am, like, so hyper all winter about getting snow and getting to play in the snow. And honestly, if you're not from snowy climates, go to school in a snowy climate, even though you're probably going to end up hating the winter. But, like, I go to school in a snowy climate, too. And, oh, college in a snowy climate, which, for those of you using the metric system, university... Um, and the first time that it started snowing there, I swear to you, like, people from warm weather places cried. It was the greatest moment of my life. So funny. So funny. So seriously, I love the snow. I love the winter. Like, this is so much snow. Like, it even says here on the newspaper, 23, uh, no, 26.3 inches. LI's biggest snow ever. What you need to know today. It was so much snow. And so much fun. And I strongly advise you, if you live in this area, to go out and play in the snow. And if you don't live in this area and you don't live somewhere that it snows, go somewhere that it snows and play in the snow. Look how hyper I am. This is probably the craziest you've ever seen me. I love the snow. And I survived the blizzard of 09! Woo! Anyway, I hope that you all have really happy holidays. And yeah, go out and play in the snow. Bye.